It's Cousin Diddy. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. I really do appreciate it. All right, guys, today I want to get into the topic of the AR-15. And is the AR-15 relevant? Because all you're hearing in the news and all you're hearing from the people on the left who are uh, non-pro-gun are how horrible this weapon is. And this weapon, the AR-15, right, is number one, not an assault rifle. AR does not stand for assault rifle. It, start, it stands for Armalite Rifle, right? The only thing you're hearing about this AR-15 is it does nothing but mass murders, right? They're not telling you the other side of the advantage of having a weapon like this, right? Let me take the little situation that was happening um, all over the world when the riots kicked out, right? If you lived around the cities at the time that the riots were kicking off in uh, 2021 and you were in those environments, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Let me explain it to you. So when the riots started downtown, um, people started getting really edgy because they really started getting violent. And when the riots kicked off, people started kind of going to buy handguns, um, you know, soccer moms, people who typically didn't have permits were going to get permits, you know, buying little revolvers. And as the, the situation intensified, and as the violence grew, and then the National Guard started showing up, people started to go buy more guns and started to buy more ammo. And the people who didn't own stuff like that, the background checks were tripling. The gun purchases were going through the roof. The ammo was starting to run out. And everybody was running to go buy something to protect themselves, right? And as the riots continued to go on, and then the riots started moving out of the city, into the streets, blocking off the major highways, and then into the communities. And when the riots started moving out of the city, into the communities, that's when everything started to change. AR-15 started getting bought up all over the place. You, you walked into a gun shop, everything was gone. Ammo was gone. You went to the gun shows, they were out the door. People were buying everything on the tables, body armor, anything they could get their hands on, people were buying. People at work who didn't have weapons were absolutely terrified. Talking to the people who had guns and trying to buy guns from people. Guys, I'm a, I'm a pro-gun person. I support the Second Amendment, and I'm a gun owner myself. But I'm not going to be giving people and selling people anything I own, especially in the situation that was happening. I'll never forget the morning we're sitting there as the riots, they're now on the major highways blocking it off, right? Cars were going through, and they're beating the cars up and all their stuff, and they're starting to move into the communities. And they came on the news, and they did a, uh, a briefing from the sheriff's office uh, downtown, basically stating that, guys, if you call the police, we can't come. And I'll never forget, I sat up on the corner of my couch and I thought, what? And what they said was, the calls are so, there's so many calls and there's so less police because they're all downtown, they're all trying to handle the situation, that if we were to call in with a situation, the cops aren't coming. And when they released that on the local broadcast, people started to really realize that, oh my God, I'm in a situation where I can't defend myself. I'm in a situation where I'm going to have to take stand in my home to defend my family against people coming to kick my door in and trying to hurt me and the people that I love the most. And I had an AR-15, and the AR-15 is the weapon that I felt most comfortable with. If a situation like that was to take place, a handgun's not going to do it. The 9mm, the 45, it's not going to do it. The round that's capable to shoot out of an AR-15, the 5.56 5. and the 2.23, is a hot, high-velocity round. The platform of the AR-15, it can go long distance. The stability. 
the dead on point shot if you had to use it was the weapon people were trying to buy them everywhere they went they were buying them off the shelf they were buying them just hanging hanging on the wall they were buying as much as they possibly could that weapon in that situation when you had mass people coming up under your property or coming into your house of the fear that you had mobs of people coming to take what was yours the only weapon that I see is the AR-15 that could handle that type of situation. And having that right there made me feel comfortable enough to know that I was able to do what I had to do if the situation was to take place. That's why I'm a real firm believer in the AR-15 and the platform that it has. You know, if it gets into the wrong hands, yes, some bad things have happened to people. I'm not saying anything about any of that. I'm just saying when those riots were moving through, and they, the cops said that they are not coming to help us, and we were stuck dead ducks in water, that we had to defend ourselves. Thank God that the people have weapons that were able to defend themselves if it went any further. So guys, thank you so much for listening to me today. Thank you for stopping by the channel. I'll let you enjoy the rest of the ride, and you guys have a great day.